Get the Secrets of Getting People to Like You from The Art of Seduction by Robert Greene. This book has two main sections. First, it tells stories about super charming characters who were really good at making others like them. Then, the second part teaches you the skills and moves used to get people interested in you. To help you learn, we're making 35 video episodes that show the different ways covered in this famous book to become a likable person that attracts others. Episode 4, The Powerfully Bold and Charming Character of the Dandy The Unique Person Who Uses Unclear Identity and Bending Gender Roles to Attract and Seduce The Dandy's biggest strength in seducing lies in refusing to follow society's strict rules and roles around gender, sexuality, and identity. The Feminine Dandy This type refers to men who purposely take on the behaviors, movements and inner traits usually linked with femininity, while still having a sense of male aggression and danger. Green points to Rudolf Valentino as the prime example of this character. As a young Italian immigrant working as a dancer for hire in 1910s New York, Valentino developed a natural skill with female psychology and courtship arts. The grace, carefulness, extreme attention to clothing details, and talent for mirroring his dance partner's tastes and flattering their egos. However, Valentino's path to fame came from blending these feminine qualities with an unmistakable layer of male threat and cruelty on the silver screen. In smoldering roles like the Sheik and the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, Valentino's characters gave off a contradictory and intoxicating mix of feminine elegance with rapacious male sexuality. With his slender form dressed in jeweled robes, eye makeup and pouty lips, Valentino embodied a bold spectacle, tempting women by straddling masculine and feminine characters. He seduced not just with open desire, but by hinting at taboo, gender-transcending pleasures. The spell Valentino cast came from his ability to capture women's own self-admiring vanities and feminine ideals, while still projecting an unmistakable edge of male dominance. In embodying and upending feminine tropes, the feminine dandy enthralls by turning upside down traditional scripts of courtship and conquest. He gains power by flipping the tables, feminizing himself to arouse through novelty and symbolic gender reversal. The masculine dandy. On the opposite side of the seductive range lies the masculine dandy, embodied by figures like Lou Andrea Salome, the brilliant Russian novelist and thinker who captivated a string of famous male thinkers like Nietzsche, Rilke, and others. Part of Salome's tantalizing appeal lay in her unique blend of male intellect, independence, and emotional distance fused with undeniable female beauty and charm. Her uncompromising support of unconventional taboo views on gender roles and sexuality represented a direct challenge to the era's prescribed identities for women. Yet she retained an ethereal, delicate physique and aesthetic that still fit traditional male desires. This duality enabled her to disarm a succession of male pursuers precisely by hinting at their unconscious yearnings, while always remaining elusive and unattainable. Her deflection of commitment, fierce independence, and cerebral masculine persona seduced by stoking repressed male desires for role reversal and submission, while keeping her admirers perpetually off balance and entranced. In cultivating a wardrobe and outward identity that blurred gender signifiers, Salome tapped into the primal, destabilizing thrill of transgressive androgyny. By refusing to inhabit a typical feminine role, she fired the imaginations of men by embodying the archetypal male fantasy of the unattainable, willfully rule-breaking woman. The Potent Provocation of Gender Rebellion What united these dual modes of the dandy character was their masterful upending of established gender codes and social conventions through the powerful tool of strategic ambiguity. By seductively mixing and transcending masculine-feminine characteristics, the dandies of both sexes catalyzed fascination by defying the strict binaries and categorizations society typically uses to define identity, sexuality, and persona. In an age of increasing rigid cultural narratives around gender and desire, 
the disruptive spirit of the dandy took on amplified seductive power precisely through its uncategorizable transgression. The dandy's promiscuous blurring of boundaries and stealthy inversion of gendered traits worked as a form of erotic provocation, arousing curiosity and stirring unconscious longings for transcendence. At their core, the allure of dandies like Valentino and Salome derived from their potent refusal to inhabit society's pre-written roles for males and females. In crafting an ambiguous, self-fashioned identity that bridged traditional divides, they appealed to our repressed cravings for rebellion against conventions of identity, expression, and desire. Their seductive mystique stemmed from embodying an almost spiritual in-between space, with the dandy inhabiting a symbolically sacred, ritually transgressive space outside the mundane world's fixed hierarchies and identities. Whether feminine or masculine in its tailoring, the dandy's artfully ambiguous self-fashioning held up a mirror to the limitations of our own socially inscribed personas. So in an age of increasing pressure to define yourself through rigid markers, to distill your identity into concrete types and contained categories, the dandy character retains a powerful seductive appeal. In cultivating an enigmatic, norm-disrupting presence that scrambles society's attempts to lock us into prescribed roles and essences, the dandy whispers of more expansive human potentials. They dare us to embrace our own multiplicities, our own lurking ambiguities of gender and persona, to see ourselves as artfully self-created beings rather than merely predetermined characters on a limited social stage. Ultimately, the dandy seduces by reminding us that we contain not just one unified identity, but an entire plural universe of possible selves, unlimited by the constraints of convention and norm. In dreaming new ways of being into existence through their dangerously alluring self-expression, the dandy leaves us intoxicated by our own repressed potentials for intimate, existential revolution. Now something important. Make it a daily habit to acquire valuable knowledge. Remember, what you consume mentally fuels your mind. Be deliberate about it. Otherwise, the algorithms are crafted to manipulate your thinking. Reflect on that. Also, we're now welcoming contributions through subscriptions to back our forthcoming projects and provide you with exceptional content. Join us by subscribing today.